Hi guys, welcome to the channel of love. Okay, part two. I got cut off again. I was letting you know that the divine masculines are angelic. They are angels. Let's carry on with this message. Notice the signs. I'm picking up from part one of this reading. Okay, and then we should be pulling some more oracle cards here in part two. Okay. <laughs> So the angels gave you this card to help you understand the signs you've been receiving lately. These signs may include feathers, coins, butterflies, birds or other repetitive visions that make you think of the angels who have deliberately sent you these signs to let you know that, that they're nearby, protecting, loving and guiding you. The additional meanings for this card. Your departed loved ones in heaven are saying hello, I love you. Notice and believe in the repetitive signs you receive as validation that you're on the right path. Have faith, follow the signs that are guiding you to your heart's desire. Perfect. Let's carry on because I've still got some more decks of cards here. The magical unicorns, oracle cards. Let's see what the unicorns would like to say. <clears throat> Hey Jasper. Hello and goodbye. You'll soon see that this change is making things better. Hello and goodbye. I had your sister on my lap earlier. She didn't stay for long, Jess. It was seriously a hello and goodbye. Let's go read this message. Oh, look what's underneath. I just picked up this card. If you watched the first reading, you're going to know what I'm talking about. Oh, this is beautiful. Underneath is the actual Divine Feminines card that I said I always felt that, that, that this card looks like the Divine Feminine. This is the Divine Feminines card here. And then we have the Page of Cups. And there's the Divine Feminine just drenched in these flowers. That I noticed the four flowers here. The four seasons. Look what's coming in. And then the deck is split as well here. Looks like the High Priestess energy there. It's the Queen of Wands. Very nice energy. Let's read hello and goodbye. Your life is changing and you may feel that you don't have much control. Yet you're safe and taken care of during this time of change. During your life, you'll experience many changes. As you say goodbye to the old and hello to the new, you'll learn that change is a part of everyone's life. You may feel sad to say goodbye, and you may feel afraid of what will happen in the future. This card tells you that new friends are coming your way. You aren't alone, though, or you aren't alone, though, as you will always have old friends and current family members who love you, and care about you so please tell them about your feelings change helps you let go of anything you've outgrown as you say goodbye to the past you'll always keep the love and lessons you've learned safely within your heart they are treasures that you'll always keep through your life say hello to the new people places and events that are coming to you there's nothing to fear about your future it's happy, bright, and will be lots of fun. You want another card from here, Jasper? Okay, let's uh, we pull another card. Have you time to shuffle them, darling? We go for this. No, okay. Which one? That one. Okay. Ow! <laughs> Just bit my thumb. <laughs> you are gifted. You are very intelligent and talented. Why, thank you very much. Ouch! <laughs> this cat keeps biting me and keeps getting himself caught. Okay. That's it. Un 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 uncut yourself, uncut yourself, unclaw yourself, darling. Good boy. Okay, 
you are gifted. Less of the nipping. Thank you. Be, be nice. You are gifted. <clears throat> this card wants you to know that you're very intelligent. Like a high-speed computer, you have the ability to learn and memorise a lot of material. You're especially gifted in finding out which topics interest you. You also have the gift of creativity. I felt the energy of being very artistic coming through in part one. So with your wisdom and your ability to see things in a special way, you can be successful at almost anything. You have a different way of learning. So you may have had experiences in which you didn't feel you were smart. It's just a matter of figuring out how your mind works. For instance, do you think in pictures? If so, you'll need to learn material by seeing them in your mind's eye. Or do you tend to think in feelings? If so, you'll learn best by hearing emotional stories or by touching and feeling examples of what you're learning about. If people don't understand you, don't let it bother you. What's important is that you remember who you are, a smart, wise, talented and gifted person. Although you may be different from other people, you have a lot to offer. Use your talents to help others. Finish any projects that you start and know that, you're, and know that you are a gift to the world in many special ways. Okay, let's have, let's go over to the angels. Mess, let's get a message from your angels. I'm stumbling on my words now. Okay. Astara, you deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compromise. I actually feel the energy coming through that this is being said to you, Divine Feminine. You deserve the best. Reach for the stars with your dreams and desires and don't compromise. And you are very intelligent and talented. Okay, a star. You are a star. Can you just get your claws out of my knee, please? Ah, don't bite me. <laughs> don't curse, Lucy. Seriously. He bit me yesterday through my jumper. I have evidence of a bite mark. Where did you bite me? He bit me somewhere. Where's it gone? It's disappeared now. I'm going to try and show the evidence. Oh, has it magically disappeared? Okay. It seriously has. <laughs> um, Astara You have already helped many people by giving them guidance Advice and messages You have a natural gift for delivering just the right words Along with a healthy dose of comfort and inspiration Now we urge you to be available for even more people oh, Jasper, I really need you to get your paw, your claw out of my kneecap please <laughs> your heart will tell you whether your teaching work will consist of writing, speaking, giving workshops or counselling. I'm reading a completely different card, but it sounds good, doesn't it? I think so. Let's carry on. Or you may be guided to spontaneously help people whom you meet at the store, at school or at work. Please know that you are absolutely qualified and that we angels back you up with our supportive energy and loving words. This is your divine life purpose. Ask us to help you with your teaching work and we will do everything we can. Okay, just good boy. Ow. <laughs> can we go to Astara? In the past, you have settled for less than you wanted. But no more. I am here to raise your standards. I am also here to show you that you need not suffer in any way. It isn't selfish to desire a better life. The more that you receive, the more you are able to give to others. When you allow us to give to you, 
you're also supplied with all of the necessary tools for your life's purpose. You also inspire others when you show that the spiritual path gives you all of the support you could ever need. God and the angels want you to enjoy your life. Happiness is a holy part of your divine mission. Whatever we can do to bring joy and peace into your life, please ask. We have noticed a reluctance on your part to ask for help. Perhaps you have felt that you didn't deserve good or that you will be taken away from someone else if you received our help. Yet God only knows abundance and humans are the only ones who believe in scarcity. This card is a reminder that God and the angels can only intervene if you request our help. <clears throat> Mermaids and dolphins. It's Sunday. I think we should leave her a message from the Mother Mary. I can see them. Okay. I see lots of hair as well. <laughs> Father healing. Your personal power increases as you give any father related issues to heaven. Um, the book. This card shows that you, that you still have some father issues left to heal. The healing doesn't need to take a lot of time. It simply requires your willingness to be free of old anger, grief or fear related to your male parent. Universal energies are either male or female. Male energy is expansive and giving. Let's repeat that. Male energy is expansive and giving. Female energy is nurturing and receptive. If we're unhealed with respect to our father, the universe seems to be ungenerous. If we are if we if we are unhealed towards our mother, we won't accept the gifts the universe offers us. The more you focus on the spiritual path of your father, the more your heart will be receptive to the universals, the universals, the universes continuous and all-encompassing giving. Accept your rightful bounty and open your arms to your divine inheritance. Affirm, I now focus on the love that is the spiritual truth of my father. I hereby balance any karma between us. I now let go of everything but the love and the lessons of my relationship with my father. Might not be a laughing matter, but I can't control lovers' laughter. Let me get the Mother Mary cards. Okay. Let's see what the Mother Mary would like to say. We should get this reading wrapped up. Our Lady of Great Power. Okay. Good message. Let's have a look. Good message. I already know it's a good message. I've had this message out, out the other day, so um, let's repeat it. My robes form, my robes <clears throat> form the heavens above. In my sacred feet, the earth spins. In my eyes, the stars of the night sky are born and shine. My hair forms galaxies, and in my heart, many suns burn with divine love. What is there that could be greater than I? I that am all. I that am love. Any fear, any doubt, any problem or concern. Hey, Jess. <laughs> I hold you in my being so vast. There is nothing more powerful than I. I am the love that is all that you are. Hey, Jasper. Okay. 
Fear can loom so large at times that it might seem impossible to conquer. Doubt, despair, grief and rage may take possession of our being and all of a sudden there is no way out of the negativity or horror that we may be brave enough to feel. As part of our honest emotional human journey, we are asked to feel these challenging emotions. They are part of what helps us rally the courage and strength to make the choices that are helpful and healing to our planet whenever we can. If we cannot feel the horror of what is happening around us, we might lack the passion needed to summon all of our strength to act, to heal, to help and to speak out. It takes a gru it takes a gruly <laughs> it takes a truly great leader to be a great warrior for love on this planet. This leader does not give us false hope or imaginings that all the problems that need solving would just magically go away if we close our eyes and hope hard enough. Instead, this leader inspires us with genuine encouragement and empowerment. This leader is honest about our healing light really being needed on this planet. There are environmental and so social, socio, <laughs> it was a stumbling point last time, so socio-economic problems on this planet that are not all right and will need to fall apart so that healing can occur for the greater good. Without that honest conscious acknowledgement that there is great wounding in our world that needs repair, we can be left with an undercurrent of anxiety, a feeling that something is wrong but it's not being openly acknowledged. Without this acknowledgement, constructive solutions are not being implemented. We must be careful that we don't allow our genuine optimism, which keeps us open and alive, to become a source of falsehood. We must not allow it to tell us that nothing need happen and everything is fine, when the Divine Mother tells us that this is not true at all. We need to be honest with ourselves and our suffering. We need not fear it. We need to be aware of it, and through that awareness, healing can occur. You know, my arm. <laughs> I'm very aware that this cat keeps nipping at me. This cat, Jasper, keeps nipping at me. Okay. <laughs> Yet we also need that leader to inspire us with genuine hope and self-esteem, which helps us feel empowered to be able to make a difference. This will prevent us from collapsing into, dis into despair, believing that nothing can change, whether in our own lives or in the world around us. Our Lady of Great Power comes with a special message from such inspired spiritual leadership, which is the leadership of the Heavenly Mother herself. She tells us that no matter what we may be trying to accomplish upon the earth, she has power to assist us towards success and that power is beyond any obstacle. No matter whether a personal matter a social matter or environmental issue, legal or financial issue, legal or financial issue, spiritual crisis or beloved other that needs help, we can pray to her and she will provide us with what is needed. Our job is to act on that truth. Okay, doesn't even say that. Our job is to act on that with trust, praying, listening, responding, waiting, acting, reflecting. This is how we live with her, in her grace and in the magnificence of her great power. I've just uh, realised what's happened, why my bite marks disappeared. Because um, he done that yesterday. Okay? Whilst I was uh, talking to somebody on the phone and I was holding up tarot cards. Okay, <laughs> I'm a bit jumpy now. Um, and he kind of, I don't know, felt like he was a bit jealous. So he attacked my arm and got hooked up on me and bit me through my jumper. And it left a mark. So today, when I saw him, I showed him what he had done and I said, you best kiss it better. Because I always kiss cuts and bumps and bruises, bumps and bruises better. And he did. And I've just realised, because he's just put his wet nose onto my hand. And I realised he did. He kissed it better and now it's gone. Okay. Right, I'm not to be so jumpy. Okay. Stop nipping at me then. 
Yet we also need that leader to inspire us with genuine hope and self-esteem, which helps us feel empowered to be able to make a difference. I believe we've already read this part. We have. Okay. She asks now that you dispense with any habits or beliefs that it all must be accomplished on your own. She knows that you have struggled to find the support you have needed at times in your past and she asks you to put that behind you now. It helped you grow strong and develop self-reliance but your task is different now. You have that strength and enough self-awareness to know who you are and what has meaning for you. You know to remain true to yourself even if you are in partnership or collaboration joining forces with others. You are being asked to allow yourself to be helped so that you can become an empowered channel for her grace to reach the world. So pray, be open and know that she is powerful beyond all measure. And I feel we need to leave it there. This part here, you are being asked to allow yourself to be helped so that you can become an empowered channel for her grace to reach the world. Guys, let's leave this Sunday reading here, there, here, there and everywhere. Okay, and um, I will catch up with you all soon. Until then, take care. Much love. Bye for now. I'm going to say goodbye. Okay, bye for now.